know, so many of our students go abroad, they have these incredible transformative experiences. They come back and they want to tell everybody who's willing to listen. And at a certain point, I think families and friends tend to shut down and are like, all right, all right, you had a great time in Haiti or Norway or um, India or wherever it was that you went. And I think opportunities like this give them that chance to um, represent their experience and share their experience. I'm definitely struck by the variety. I mean, we're sending Hokies all over the world, and I think that's, that's really exciting. When you think of quaint little Italian villages, this is, what, this is what's gonna come to mind. Probably hundreds, thousands of people have taken this exact shot of um, the town Manarola. It's one of the ta five towns of the Cinque Terre. I was actually there, and it was bright, sunny, and then within 10 minutes, uh, a storm started rolling in, and everyone starts heading for cover because it's starting to rain a little bit. But I, I'm just like, I'm going to keep taking pictures because when you see something beautiful, you think the more pictures you take, the, <laughs> the more beautiful it'll get. We were playing on the swing set. I, I was staying at an orphanage when I was in Uganda this past summer. And we were just playing with the kids um, during our break. Just, I mean, to be honest, it was probably just a lucky I caught him right at the at a good time. I mean, the kid, um, Ivan, he's really what makes the picture. One thing that is really just like in my head from Africa is the clay and tree, just like the red, green contrast. And so I think I like that this picture sort of captures that clay. It just really like was Af was what Africa was to me. You know, when you're in India, it's photographers like paradise. Because I have my camera on me all the time, and like where, like everywhere you turn, there's like a story, you know. So these kids ran up, they started playing around. And I was like right by the window, and I was like, wow, this is awesome. So I just started taking some pictures, and when we were um, out at Timbuktu, we camped out in the desert with some Tuareg tribes people. And this man and his daughter were part of the Tuareg group that was out there that we camped with. And I just took the picture and um, felt lucky to be able to be there with them. Um, I took it in Lagu, Haiti, right outside Camp Prin, in um, a really rural part of um, a village of Lagu. I'm part of the club Bridges to Prosperity. We have a chapter at Virginia Tech. For this image, we were finishing um, setting the cable and putting the wood decking. And we came to this um, to our site this morning, and the kids were jumping on the bridge, really excited. It was the first time we'd come in; it was done. And so we were kind of joking that they were testing the structural stability of our bridge and doing our work for us. Um, being in Haiti is not anything like being in America. They work on their own time. Everything is slow down but also just relax and it taught me as a student here where deadlines, deadlines rule my life and especially as an American where everything is ruled by time but that's not the most important thing in life. It, the most important thing is having that community with you and like working towards a future and teaching people and loving people. So going to Haiti I think taught me most of all to enjoy life and to appreciate what I've been given and how I can use it to give to others.